Hey guys, Andrew here from MCAS Self Prep. Just wanted to give you a quick introduction to the video you're about to see. It comes from my intro session, which is what I have all of my students watch before they start studying for the MCAT. Um, I've worked with you know, hundreds of students preparing for this exam, and I've noticed certain common mistakes that they either make towards the beginning of their studying that put them on the wrong path, or certain habits that they just continue throughout their entire studying that lead to a less optimal MCAT score. So the intro session is my chance to really tell you, you know, how you, how you should study for this exam, some common mistakes that you should avoid, and how to really get started on the right foot and stay on the right track towards a great MCAT score. So, so if you enjoyed this video, definitely head over to MCATSelfPrep.com to watch my full intro session. And once you watch my intro session, you'll be all ready to jump into your MCAT studying, and you'll definitely enjoy using my free MCAT prep course. I wish you the best of luck in your MCAT studying, and please feel free to reach out anytime. I'm here to help. The first fundamental I want to mention is to learn the content inside and out. Now, I know what you are thinking. Andrew, we've already talked about learning the content. Let's get to the fun stuff, strategy. Okay, I get it. I am beating this to death, but I really, really want you to understand how important it is to master every detail of the content. You see, I often get asked by students if they can just skim over the content and then spend the majority of their time practicing. Because I've seen this approach fail time and time again, I answer this with a firm no. Strategy and practice are useless unless you are also learning every detail of the content. Allow me to illustrate. On the MCAT, you might get asked a question such as, which amino acids of the HRB protein are likely involved in protein-protein binding? Now, Obviously, you are not required to memorize anything about HRB, as the passage will be giving you a description of which amino acids that protein contains, as well as a description of the protein that HRB is binding to. However, if you haven't memorized your amino acids, no amount of strategy in the world will allow you to correctly answer this question. This is stereotypical for most MCAT questions. They require you to combine your content knowledge with passage information. This is why our free MCAT prep course is completely comprehensive for all the content taught by Khan Academy, several content review books, and as outlined by the AAMC. It is also why I stress so highly making top quality flashcards. And finally, it is why I've made the memorization courses for my students that cover the most highly tested and most challenging concepts. And in addition to the memorization courses, there is one more highly tested area of content that will make or break your MCAT score, research design. The majority of most passages consist of research experiment descriptions. If you are not familiar with the common research techniques and principles, these passages will likely go right over your head. Or at the very least, you will not properly understand the data presented in the passage, resulting in an erroneous conclusion. For this reason, I highly recommend learning as much as you can about the essential experimental techniques. And this is where my science passage reading strategy course starts to play a significant role. It contains 100 video playlists that cover the 100 most important MCAT experimental techniques. Learning these will enhance your passage reading abilities, boosting your overall MCAT score. The next fundamental of mastering MCAT test taking strategy is to avoid cheap tricks. You can find all sorts of MCAT test taking strategy advice out there on the internet. But most of these so-called strategies fail to actually change the way you think. For this reason, I call them cheap tricks. For instance, a very popular cheap trick is to write a summary after each paragraph. There are many problems with this cheap trick, but the main issue is that by simply doing it, you are not doing anything to enhance your brain's way of thinking. This so-called strategy doesn't fundamentally make you into a smarter or better thinker. You see, true strategies change the very way that you think. They are not so simple as changing what you are doing. They fundamentally change your brain into a brain that is better, a brain that can handle both science passages and non-science passages alike. This is why the third fundamental is to learn proven research-based comprehension strategies. After carefully examining all the research out there on how to become a better researcher, on how to become a better reader, I came to the same conclusion as these researchers. Instruction and comprehension strategies is the intervention with the largest base of support. 
So what are comprehension strategies? Put simply, comprehension strategies are thought processes used by good readers to comprehend what would otherwise be confusing. For instance, when a good reader encounters a confusing word, they quickly pinpoint that word as causing them confusion. Then, based on the context, they apply a comprehension strategy that will allow them to understand that word. A struggling reader, on the other hand, will encounter that same confusing word and simply gloss over it. By the time they get to the end of the paragraph, they all of a sudden realize that they are just totally lost. Some of you are naturally good readers and will get a perfect score on your very first attempt at the MCAT critical reading section known as the CARS. However, most of us science-minded pre-med students will likely struggle with this section filled with history, political, and even philosophy passages. But do not worry. Research shows that anyone can become a good reader by learning to habitually implement the same thought processes as good readers through learning comprehension strategies. They are harder to learn than cheap tricks, but thankfully there is a research-based way to learn these strategies. I use this proven method to teach you the 10 most important comprehension strategies in both my science passage reading strategy course and my ultimate car strategy course. There are four research-based steps to learning comprehension strategies. And the first step is direct explanation, which is what I do at the beginning of each strategy module as I describe the strategy, why it is important, and when it should be utilized. The second step is teacher modeling, which is why each strategy module contains a 30 to 60 minute video in which I walk you through an MCAT passage and all of its associated questions while demonstrating how to apply the strategy. The third and fourth steps are guided practice and application, which is why I provide you with several homework assignments at the end of each strategy module. This leads me into the fourth fundamental of mastering MCAT test taking strategy, which is to practice daily. You are never going to get better at reading using the proper comprehension strategies if you don't practice. For these thought processes to become second nature, you need to practice them in the right way on a daily basis. And simply reading passage after passage is not enough. You need to be practicing each passage in a way that will make you a better reader. This is why doing the homework assignments as outlined in my strategy courses is so important. Each course provides you with the links to over 1,000 free passages and over 100 homework assignments. So you will never run out of material to practice on. The best part is that these homework assignments are neatly integrated into the content modules. For instance, at the end of the lesson on genetics, the science reading homework assignment will entail reading science passages that relate to the topic of genetics. This way, you will have already learned the content found in those passages. And while reading them, you will be able to focus 100% on practicing the comprehension strategies without getting tripped up due to a lack of content knowledge. Students really love this. The final fundamental of mastering MCAT test taking strategy is to start early. Transforming the very way that your brain thinks takes time. When a student comes to me a month before their test date wanting to improve their car score by six points, I have to be completely honest with them that such an improvement at that late stage in the game is a stretch. I've helped many students make late stage improvements, but it is always much, much harder than starting earlier on. Making significant improvements to one's ability to comprehend challenging passages and answer questions about those passages requires daily practice using the proper strategy over a long period of time. For this reason, if you have any reason to believe that you struggle with test taking or reading comprehension, I highly recommend starting on my science passage reading strategy course and my ultimate car strategy course from the very beginning. Other companies charge $2,000 for their bare bones content teaching course, $1,499 for their medical school application course, $2,099 for their strategy course, and $1,450 for their cars course. Add it up, that's over $7,000. While other companies require an upfront payment of $2,000 or more just to get started with them, we give you the content for free as part of our free MCAT prep course. You only pay for premium products and courses, and you can gain access to all of them for a single payment that is less than $1,000.
as part of our Deluxe Pro plan. You are not going to find a deal like this anywhere else. Our Deluxe Pro plan includes access to everything contained in the basic and advanced pro plans, plus all of our memorization courses, our science passage reading strategy course, medical school application course, and our ultimate car strategy course. Buying each of these resources one at a time would cost over $2,000. But our Deluxe Pro plan gives you access to all of them at half price, just $9.99. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this small snippet from my intro session. If you enjoyed it, definitely head over to mcatselfprep.com to watch the full thing and get started on my free MCAT prep course. Um, also, you know, please be sure to subscribe to this channel for more MCAT tips coming your way. And if you have any questions, definitely feel free to comment below and me or one of my elite tutors will be in touch with you soon. Best of luck studying for the MCAT and we'll be in touch. See you next time, guys.